do do I look like garbage? Do do I look like the Grinch? Do I look like you know the the Cookie Monster from Elmo? Like what's up? What's good, everybody? It's your girl Amanda Speaks, and I'm coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is why do women hate on each other so much so I know a lot of people have the questions like why people can't just be nice to me or why she gotta be that way the truth is guys women have insecurities not saying that men don't but I'm just you know we're talking about women here you know yeah but women have insecurities some of them have been told from their young age that yo you ugly you're not pretty enough, you gotta put on makeup to look pretty, you gotta put on lashes to look pretty, you gotta dress a certain way to look pretty. Not hitting out against those things though because guys I wear makeup too. <clears throat> and so on. Yeah. <clears throat> but some people have been told that from their very young age, right? You have some people who because they've been compared to a sibling or to a friend, they feel as though if they don't dress like them, they don't talk like them, they don't do things like them, them not have nothing a go on for them. Nothing at all. Get what I'm saying? So women sometimes feel intimidated, especially like if they're getting a lot of um, male attention. So <coughs> I don't know what the hell's going on, my boy. <coughs> so yeah, so if they have a person in their life where they're getting a lot of male attention and they are not getting any. So I have, for example, I have a friend or I have a sibling that's getting a lot of male attention and I'm just over here like what do do I look like garbage do do I look like the Grinch do I look like you know the, the cookie monster from Elmo like what's up you know so yeah so they tend to feel that way and especially like if the sibling or a friend they're not reassuring them that oh ignore that and even if they do they still wonder why am i not getting male attention because a lot of females seek validation from males best believe a lot of females seek validation from males because they're like if a male can like you that means you're attractive and especially like if a lot of them don't love themselves first they're depending on other people to love them first and depending on especially males to be attracted to them they're gonna feel as though them know where nothing when technically sometimes the male either mess up themselves they have a specific type or they are taken honey or they just don't want a relationship that's the unfortunate truth they don't want a relationship they're more focused on their goals on what they want to achieve they want to get into working they want to build something they don't want no girlfriend here they don't want them to distract them so that happens sometimes but females take it the wrong way they're like if a guy doesn't notice you or if people don't notice you even if it's just a pss even though, like, yeah, we don't like that because we're not cockroaches, so no need to be spraying us, you know? But, yeah, so if, like, a male doesn't call to you or something, sometimes people, sometimes females, sorry, internalize it to say that they're not attractive and something's wrong with them, they need to dress a certain way. And girls, women, find your own style first, like, for real, for real. Everybody has their own style. Everybody can look sexy in my opinion because I've seen some people they're honey You'd think that they couldn't find clothes or they couldn't do this and they look fabulous So everybody has their own style Everybody can dress It's just for you to find what fits you. Not everything is gonna fit you. So honey Sometimes it's you messing up all of that It's you messing up all of that because you're not dressing how what fits you you know what i'm saying yeah wear your size wear your style don't let social media and other people intimidate you and make you feel as though you have to wear this style because it's in trend and yeah no not everything is going to fit you okay okay as well as bad mind jealousy just straight up some females have no reason to hate you but because you are happy with yourself, you're comfortable with your body, you're just expressing yourself, then bad mind you. Some people are just bad mind, just straight up. Them don't want to see a prosper because they're not prosper. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Females may criticize other people because of what's lacking in their life and the things that 
they can't do because they feel as though they don't have the ability to so I hope let me see if that makes sense to you guys so I don't think I can exercise really nigga yeah I don't think I can exercise but I'll critique other people who exercise so they're not doing enough they're lazy blah, 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 blah. but I'm not doing it you, you get what I'm saying so because I don't feel as if I can do it I criticize you because I want you to feel the same way I feel yeah so sometimes it really 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 is a person that got the problem but they don't really want to acknowledge it yeah and some females criticize because of the environment that they're in so i'm gonna use a scripture like it's so kind of simple but for example train up a child in the way he should grow and when he's old he will not depart from it so you can put that into any situation not just speaking towards children your environment affects how you are what you say what you do sometimes even what you like so some females will criticize because that's the environment that they're in that's what they're hearing left right center that is what is being infiltrated in them to criticize right so everywhere you turn somebody's talking about another female somebody's even talking about another male that's their environment is going to affect you and impact how you think so it's going to make you feel as though you have to do this even if you don't want to if you're there for a period of time it will just start just like for example if somebody uses expletives if you're a person that don't like expletives or you're a person that don't like maybe a horror movie I don't know but using expletive because it's something I can relate to so you don't like expletives but because of the environment that you're in you hear it so often the music you listen to is pure expletives or some of it whatever I don't know after a while you're gonna start hearing it in your head and then eventually if you don't hold it and filter what you're doing you're gonna say it and when you say it you will be mind blown you're gonna be like I didn't just do that but there's another thing that comes to it. If I continue to do it and continue to say it, repeat it, it's going to become normal to me. It's going to become numb to me. So that's the same thing with criticism. If you start it, it becomes a part of you. So you become numb to the fact that you're doing it. Right? Yeah, so some people suffer from that. Some people, they don't intentionally start to criticize, but it just happens because of where they are, who they're around, and what they're saying. And that concludes today's Real Talk video. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for joining in. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. By the way, big up to my subscribers. Y'all the bomb. And I love y'all. So, don't forget to comment in the comment section <laughs> what you think are some reasons why women hate on each other. And let me know what's good. I know I asked somebody recently and they said that sometimes it's both genders hating, but because women are more emotionally inclined and stuff, they're more vocal with their emotions and stuff. Let me know what you think. So that's it. Peace. We get tired, we get tired, we get tired.